All right, I just got back from the uh, Saturday, September the 3rd, Dominary United uh, pre-release uh, event that was going on at my place. Um, oh, I wish I read that. Here's the cutout that was, so I don't have a pre-release box um, for this particular one. The outer box was kind of rough. The inner box I ended up giving to another player. Because she needed a box to hold her cards because she didn't bring any of her kit. Um, I'm going to be getting another one tomorrow. So I'll just show that one on video. And I'll probably buy a third down the line to do an unboxing. I don't know when though. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what I got in the sealed draft. And then... We'll go from there. So in the box, I got, you know, the normal arena card. A little paper cutout that says, like, hey, yo, bro. Um, Fifteen to eighteen creatures, five other spells, seventeen lands. Um, I whipped the deck together, it was bad. Uh, I lost, I won one of the rounds, but lost the other three. Um, this is the lore card. Um, so there's that, um, currently they're giving out like 30th anniversary promos, the, from this event, you get one per event, so I picked the Sarah Angel card, comes in foil, it's shiny, um, 2023 Wizards of the Coast, one out of 30, um, it's got like the... You see on the secret layers, it's got the 93 stamp on it right here. Um, you can't really... There we go. Turn her into the light. Yeah, she's super pretty, super shiny. Um, I've already opened the packs, so I'll just kind of breeze through. I got a few tokens. Badger token, in fact. Um... Cards, threats undetected, people kind of, ooh, did that one. Uh, I haven't really looked into it. The card stock is a little better than what I've been getting lately, but not by much. Um, sunbathing, Rootwalla. Sorry, I'm just blasting through these. Um, that's a butter butterfly swarm. I got one of the mountains. Regular forest, regular mountain. I like this plains with that art. Been walking all sad. The dead gate. Um, I don't know what that looks like. I'll probably buy the bundle just to get this one in hollow. And then the regular plains. <clears throat> Um, so that's the first part. Second part, this is the stuff that I still have to, I've sleeved because I played, tried playing with it. Uh, Hollow Land, Forest, Meteorite, Ninjai, Molten Mithrosity, Goblin, Shield Wall. I don't, I don't hate the stained glass shit, but I'm not liking it, which is really weird because I like stained glass shit. Um, Crystal Grotto I like, <clears throat> um, use that a bunch, Lightning Strike man, just boom, pay two, deal three, it's so good, it's MVP of the evening, um, Do I really get two of them? Yeah, I got both of them. Hmm. Jota's Codex and Holographic. Um, it's muted here, but the rainbow color book. Super nice. <coughs> I blew my voice out. Here was the promo that was in the uh the standard promo. Where it's got like the 
2022 stamp on there for the year. Pretty decent fucking card. <clears throat> Probably gonna keep that one. <clears throat> uh, I liked the Elder Dragon Ward. Worked out pretty good. Couldn't didn't get a chance to play that yet. <clears throat> didn't get a chance to play him. Didn't have a chance to play him. And I got to play him once just before I lost. Here's the big card. Joe to the Unifier. Um, not hollow or anything, just standard print. <clears throat> I need to de-sleeve all these. Um, so I need the sleeves for tomorrow. But, uh, I don't hate it. Um, again, it's a pre-release. God only knows. I just slapped together basically a mountain uh, island deck and prayed. Um, <clears throat> with some playtesting and some trimming. I could actually try running that deck. Um, I don't think I will though, because everyone just plays Commander Knights. You know what I mean? It's mostly Commander anyway, so it's kind of redundant to have like a standard deck floating around. <clears throat> and my voice is fucking shot. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do two videos on this event, because I also got the. Uh, jumpstart pre-release as well so I'll do that video next and then obviously there'll be a second part to this video where I do up the price totals and all this good stuff all right it took a hot minute but I've got all the things put in for the pre-release box given that this pre-release box is just like it was like five or six packs just normal packs so when we get to what's in it there's a lot of cards um is it four was it four packs oh i don't even know i don't have the wrappers anymore um like so with this um there's a few caveats First and foremost, uh, let's swap to price. Sarah Angel doesn't have a price yet because the new promo. Because it's brand new. I'm surprised it's in the scry list. Speaking of, um, Airtie's Scorn, an uncommon instant, not in the scry list at all. No clue of the value on that one. And then Sphinx of the Clear Skies. I have on here the standard holographic, which is going for $4 on TCG Player. Um, but I have the pre-release one with the 2022 stamp on it. I don't know if it's going to actually affect the value or anything. So until those two cards are put in, I won't know the actual value. The other part of it, I got 92 cards, is this is the most, I paid $25 for it, the pre-release pack. This is the most I've gotten in a return on a thing. It's almost, it is $8 short of 50%, of like a double, 100% profit. Um... These numbers will not stay here whatsoever. Like, what's the value? Right now, on a pre-release pack, the value is really goddamn high because the set isn't out yet. So that's why all this extra nice. Look at this. Like, almost $2 for the hollow light. Like, the lands are, like, way overpriced for what they are. Just because they aren't, they're not in, in the wild yet. By the way, this is probably the prettiest card in the whole set. I'm not going to lie. I want it in hollow. Um, and you'll probably buy the bundle just to get it. Um, yeah, dudes. Griffith Protectors even have stats yet. Um, so, oh yeah, I got jo Joda. The car everyone's like creaming their pants over. I got him in standard, so he's just the 750 here. Um, yeah, there is another heavy hitter in here somewhere. 
Yeah, Sphinx. Sphinx Sphinx has actually gone up in price since I've input the data in. Um, for the first week or two or three, I think Dominaria is gonna have some really nice returns. But you gotta get in, crack the packs, and get out as soon as possible because these numbers will drop. Um, yeah. Du almost doubled my money. Again, these cards are going to drop in value once there's more in the wild. It's just straight up supply and demand. Um, as for playing, I actually kind of like them. Not my favorite. Um, I don't have a favorite card, to be honest, in Magic. They just exist. They do things. I don't have that emotional attachment. I just like trading card games. They're fun. I have fun playing. I'm not nostalgic, so... Um, Dragon Ball Z card game, I'm nostalgic as fuck. Um, but that's a whole other animal. Yeah. It was good times. 10 out of 10. Would do again. Um, and with that, I thank you for watching, and you all have a good day.